hello guys welcome back to good share tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix six days in fallujah is having crashing issue it is not launching it is won't launch freezing and stuttering low fps drop stuck all loading screen and even black screen for many of the users when they're trying to play the six days in fallujah and it was happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this app so let's dive into the workaround the first one is all about you have to start with a simple restart sometimes a simple restart can fix a lot of issue so just go over here in the start icon just click on this one go for a restart once restart is successfully done just try launching the game and that's what we have to do this is the first step you have to try out when you're having an issue with six state in faluha if after you start if it's still not working then we just have to move to the next step that is all about we need to verify integrity of game file for this we just need to go over here select the game right click and go to over here go to install it files there is an option called verify integrity of game file so just click on this one so why verify integrity of game file is an important step because if any one of the files from the downloaded game is corrupted or if it's missing we will be having the trouble down the road so we'll not be able to play the game as well as we'll be having crashing issue not launching freezing and stuttering and even many more issues we'll be having the down the road so it is quite important for ourselves to make sure that no files are corrupted if any files are corrupted we have to find this up and we have to fix this up so that is why we have to do this up so it is an important step that you have to try with verify integrity of game file once you click on this one you just need to wait this to reach 100 percentage so we'll be cross checking every single files of the game and make sure it is not corrupted as well as it's not having any missing files or anything so those will be fixed up once successfully done you'll be getting the message like all the files successfully validated which means you're good to go so just go over here and play the game and see whether the issue is solved or not if it's still not working we have to move to the next one next one is all about you should not be launching the game from steam so launching the game from steam might be an issue in some cases so we, we should not be taking any risk so what we need to do is we just need to launch the game from the installation folder for that reason we have to go over here right click and we have to go to properties we have to go to installer files just click on the browse when you click on the browse that's going to bring you the installer folder over here if you check at the background that is this pc locker c program file x86 steam steam apps common six days in faluha so this is where the game is installed and you just need to open this so just launch the game from here and most probably for many of the users when they launch the game from here this did work it for them next one is all about we need to do this we just need to run the game as an administrator for running the game as an administrator we just need to go like this that is from here itself we can do this so just right click right click over here go to show more options go to properties go to compatibility now from here click on run this program as an administrator this is an important step we should be running the program as an administrator because uh, you know this is quite important step you should be doing this so just go for this and go for apply and go for okay now launch the game so for many of the users when they launch the game in the administrator in my opinion the state worked for them so you can try this out as well if it's not working we have one more step that call we have to run the game in the compatibility mode for this we just need to right click over here go to show more options go to properties go to compatibility now from here you just need to click on run this program in compatibility mode and set the first one to windows 7 this is quite important set this to windows 7 go for apply and go for ok change if it's 7 is not working change this to windows 8 go for apply and go for ok once you close this up just close everything and go back and try launch the game and that will be working for you guys as well so you can try this out next one is all about we need to launch the game using alt and tab so just click on the play button but the moment you're clicking on the play button you have to press alt and tab from the keyboard that's quite an important step just click on the alt and tab and that's what you have to do and click on the play button for many users this did help it for them so you can try this out in my knowledge and in my opinion it did work out for users for example the games like you know fifa 22 even for far cry 6 even dead space 2 
all the people those who watched our crashing guide did mention thank you so much and they mentioned this particular step did help with them so you can try this out next one is we need to make sure the windows is in the native it's the language of the windows is in english so some users might be using the windows like if they might be using native language like chinese japanese you know arabic even many more german etc that might cause the issue so just go over here in the search then we just need to go to settings now from here go to time and language now from here go to language and region now from here first go for add language search for the language so we need the language to english by default so just search for english over here set the language to english once after that set the language like this it should be english make sure the country or region is correct so i'm from india so i have to select the country from india the geography has to be correct that is quite important as well so just go back go to date and time over here you can see most probably this is an issue so many of the users time should be automatically set but time zone will be completely different so we need to make sure both the things is turned it off so just turn this off so if this is turned it on for some users even this bring up the issue so make sure both the thing is turn it on and once after that you just go back and try launch the game next one is all about we need to delete the saved game file for this we just need to go over here in the file explorer we have to go over here in this pc so just go to documents and here we'll be having the folder on the game so if you have the folder on the game once you save the progressions you'll be having the folder so just delete the respective folder and keep in mind you'll be losing all the progressions but that is fine just delete it once you delete it just try launch the game once again next one is all about we have to start with allow the game to window security that is an important step for this we just need to go over here in the search go for control panel <coughs> sorry just click on system and security now from here go to windows defender firewall now from here go to allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall now from here we have to find the game that is 6 days in faluha so just keep scrolling down and over here if you keep scrolling down you will be able to find the 6 days in faluha is already added so most probably when you add this you have to make sure the private and public both should be marked that is an important step if it's not marked we have to mark it so imagine the game is not here and we can add it by default we can add it manually and how to do this just click on change settings now go for allow another app go for browse now from here go to this pc go to local disk c now from here go to program for x86 now from here go to steam now from here go to steam apps now from here go to common now from here we have to go to 6 days in faluha just select this one select this one and go for open and add it so i'll be getting the error because the game is already added so if game is not there we can add it by manually and that is how i have demonstrated how we can add it manually once you add this just close everything go back and try launch the game next one is all about we need to try with unplugging all the usb devices so most of you guys might be playing the game with multiple monitors with joystick maybe your usb ports might be filled with any other thing like logitech wheels you know uh, hotas etc so those might be causing the issue so what you need to do is just remove everything from the usb port like if multiple monitors are connected disconnected if any logitech wheels are there remove it and once after that just launch the game after game is successfully launched you are good to go with the game if you wanted to play the game with the controller just connect back the controller and move proceed further that will be working and this did work for many users i found this step from the steam community and you can try this out next one is all about we need to perform a clean boot for that we just need to go over here in the search so we need to go for uh, over here just need to go for system configuration just go for services go for hide all microsoft services go for disable all go for apply and go for okay that is an important step so some users it might ask for restart for example just go over here so just goes to ser services once again so hide all microsoft services uh, this has to be this is actually grayed out i don't know why but most probably this has to be there then just go for apply and go for okay it might ask for restart if restart is asking just do a restart which is a mandatory once after that just try launch the game next one is all about we need to try with disabling the steam overlay for that we just need to go over here in the game right click and go to properties 
over here we have to see enable the steam overlay while in game this should be turn it off if this turn it on you have to turn this off this is an important step just turn this off then launch the game just turn this off then launch the game if that is not working we have to move to the next step that we have to give the commands in the launch option for that just go over here right click and go to properties now from here in the launch option we need to give two commands the first one is dx11 give the command dx11 launch the game if dx dx11 is not working give the command dx12 and launch the game so dx11 and dx12 both the thing is quite important so just give the command dx11 as well as dx12 this is quite important and launch the game next one is all about we need to close unwanted things which is running in the background for this we just need to go over here in the task manager right click and go to task manager now as you can see there are many things running in the background so all these things are actually draining out your performance so there are unwanted things which is running in the background which is used, utilizing your ram as well as your performance which is causing the crashing issue so what we need to do is we just need to close all the unwanted things from here for example uh, this like you know overlay applications as well as overclocking application so overlay application is what it is it is actually for example the uh, for example discord comes under the category of overlay applications and if you find it you have to remove it and if you find anything like msa afterburner diva tuner etc they all come under the category of overclocking application which is one of the main reason why we are having the crashing issue so just remove every unwanted things from here and then just close this and go back and try launch the game next one is all about we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card for that we just need to go over here in the search go for graphic settings now from here we just need to over here you can see there are many things running in the many apps are already added so just click on the browse now from here go to this pc go to local disk c go to program file x86 just open this now go to steam over here go to steam apps now from here go to common now from here we have to go over here and we have to find the game six dates in faluha so just select this one and add it so once it's added you can see there is one more thing we need to make sure to just click on the option and over here this is by default this is let windows decide change this to high performance and go for save so say so change this to high performance and once after this just close this and go back and try launch the game next one is all about we need to increase virtual memory for this we just need to go over here in the search go for view advanced system setting go to advanced go for settings once again advanced go for change over here make sure this is blank if this selected you will not be able to select the local disk so uncheck this select the local disk where the game is installed go for custom size give the value for initial size and maximum size initial size is 1.5 times the total ram maximum size is 3 times the total ram so just over here we need a calculator so just go over here and find a calculator so multiply 32 gb is my ram so just multiply your ram so i am writing my ram so just multiply your ram with 1024 that is a constant value and multiply with 1.5 that brings you 49152 so just paste it next one is maximum size that is 32 gb into 1024 that brings you into 3 that is 98,304. So just copy this and paste it as well. Once you set the value over here, just go for OK. And once you set the value, then just try launch the game. And most probably, this has to be worked. Next one is all about we need to update the windows. For that, we just need to go over here in the search. Go for settings. Now just go for windows update. Update the windows. That is quite important. This is an important step. And after updating the windows, try launch the game. Or else we have to move to the next one that is increasing the virtual i mean we have to update the graphics card manually for that i'll be providing link in the both the description for both nvidia as well as for the amd the nvidia users they just have to go over here give details like geoforce we have to go for product series then we just need to go over here select everything over here product type windows have to be selected and go for start search now from here once you go for start search you will be getting the versions 
So if you're on the driver version 536.23, you have to download this one. So you'll be getting the versions like this. So just download the latest version and install it on your PC and try launching the game. Next one, we have to go over here, select the models, everything over here. So select everything, go for submit. And if you go for submit, we'll be getting two options. If you're on Windows 11, download this one. If you're on Windows 10, download this one and install and restart the PC. Next one, we have to install the Microsoft Visual C++. You can also try this step. So I'll be providing link in the description. So just download this one, install it on your PC and try launch the game. And last and the least one is all about, we have to try with uninstalling the game and we have to reinstall it back. For this, we just need to go over here, right click and go to manage, uninstall the game. For reinstalling it back, you should not be installing back on the same local disk. You should be changing the position because by default, this is on C. So try changing the position today. And these are the possible workarounds that you have to try out when you're having an issue with six days in Faluha and how you can fix this up. And I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more of these kind of videos. Bye-bye.